Kathy was sent to us uh, for evaluation of her heart because of uh, concerns that she may have something going on with her heart, like heart disease, include, like coronary artery disease specifically, blocked arteries. She has multiple risk factors that put her at high, high risk for heart disease. Uh, this includes high blood pressure, her weight, she's been more tired lately, her energy's been down, and these are signs sometimes that we can look at to pick up heart disease at an early time before these blockages progress and lead to heart attacks. My concern was that over the past several years I've continued to have um, pressure in my chest at various times. People who are at high risk with diabetes and blood pressure, uh, like Kathy, who uh, we want to make sure don't have a problem that can lead to a heart attack later, we bring in for a more definitive test, like an angiogram, which we're planning to do today. You know, the unknown is, is it's constant in your mind that there might be something wrong, so I'm relieved that we're going to find out if there is something there. So we're doing this mostly, remember, because the test in the office was not entirely normal. Even though it didn't show any clear blockages, the function of the heart was a little weaker than normal. So we want to really make sure there's no blockages that can be missed by that test with all your risk factors. Anyway, so we'll go ahead, go ahead and do this. We're gonna to try to do it through your arm. If it doesn't work through your arm, it doesn't always work in everybody through their arm, then we're gonna go through the groin. Going through the arm, if we're lucky enough, then you'll be up and out of here shortly and be able to move and stand up and sit up quickly. So okay. very fast recovery. That's it, any questions about anything? Great, so hopefully in Kathy's case, we find nothing and uh, that is a possibility. And I always tell people that regardless of what tests we've done in the office, this is a much more definitive test where we actually look inside the arteries to look for and see blockages. And uh, the best thing and what we hope for is we find no blockages and that is a possibility. There is an, or the alternate possibility, the other extreme, that there are many blockages where in which case we would probably recommend heart surgery, open heart surgery. Now you are gonna feel, Kathy, a little burning in your arm that's numbing on the inside of the artery. Some people don't feel anything. Normally the way these procedures are done or have been done is through the artery in the groin and afterwards the patient has to lay flat. They can't get up for six hours with a heavy weight which is followed by a heavy person standing there holding a lot of pressure in the groin so it's not very comfortable. After this Kathy will be able to sit up and even walk out of the cath lab if she wants. So it's a very much easier recovery, much faster recovery. So this machine is basically just a large x-ray machine and Mike here is going to give me some special, specially made catheters that directly go into the arteries of the heart. So these catheters are specially made that when they go in, just uh, careful maneuvering that, yes, that requires a bunch of training allows us to move the catheter directly where we want it. We'll touch it. Great. So this catheter is now sitting in the what we call the left main coronary artery and we take multiple angles to assess the artery from multiple views and therefore make sure that we see any kind of blockage. The heart has three major arteries that cover it to bring blood in order for the heart to work properly. So far everything looks uh, quite good. So far there are only very mild blockages and irregularities of the insides of the arteries that are certainly uh, amenable to treatment with medications. We're all done, everything looks good. You do have some blockages, mild blockages, nothing severe, no stents, no surgery. But since we did this through your arm, you'll be sitting in a few minutes, you'll be able to go home in a few hours and very quick and easy recovery. I wanna see you in the office in a few weeks, we'll go over this again. People tend to forget the procedure because some of the sleeping medicine you got, but everything's very good. I was happy to give Kathy good news, there are no severe blockages, so she doesn't need any stents, doesn't need any surgery, we're gonna treat her coronary artery disease with medications, hoping to see complete resolution with medications. Uh, she should do quite well. Uh, there are other things that we need to address which go beyond just heart disease, which we'll talk more about in the office. But I was very happy to give her good news.